you all know that Dana White, um, a UFC promoter, I think he's the owner of UFC, right? If I'm not mistaken. He came out lately, uh, recently, of course, uh, really, really going hard on Bob Harum. Um, he slammed him and said, uh, you can't afford to put fights on. You effing um, jack off or something like that. <laughs> That's a strong word. I mean, of course, read a statement right, right here saying, um, <clears throat> I said, uh, yeah, um, Aaron uh, said that he is very. Aaron said that he has very little respect for White based on this recent action. You know, Bob Aaron, of course, criticized Dana White recently as well. You know, saying that uh, him trying to put up pay per view stuff. Like, like you know, Bob Aaron is always a guy that speaks out in a way. But at the same time, I don't know if he spe if he speaks out with envy or something like that. You know, but. Bob Harum um, sp spoke out uh, against uh, um, Dana White, and Dana White uh, responded with brutality. You know, um, and he said, um, "Listen, I think by now everybody realizes that Bob Harum is a D I C K head, D I C K head." Um, this guy has been talking smack, let me say, talking shit about the UFC and me for 20 years. He is effing bankrupt. This guy, he is bankrupt. Of course, you don't want to put fights on. You can't afford to put fights on, you effing jackoff. <clears throat> You've been in this thing your whole life and have completely destroyed the business and the sport. Congratulations, Bob Harum. You're brilliant. I mean, I don't want to read what Bob Aaron said first, but we already know what Bob Aaron says, you know. It's just like, it makes someone angry, you know, in a way. But at the same time, why, you know, downplaying the guy's, you know, moves? It doesn't really make sense in a way. Uh, Tajagbe, your take on this, bro. Uh, well, Bob Barum has always seemed like a salty guy to me. I never, I never took much liking to him. Um, you know, it, it seems like uh, not everybody is a big fan of Bob Barum. Uh, Bob Barum always has, always, and will always have something to say about somebody. He doesn't worry about his um his own issues. Uh, you know, so you know. I've always wondered what Bob Barum did, what, what what goes through Bob Barum's mind. You know, I believe he's even he needs to just pack it up and leave because he's ruined his own name and what he's built, and eventually it's, it's going to collapse as we all can see. Even Dane, even Dana White, you know, the president of the U.S., has even noticed. He even called him out on his uh, on his bullcrap later on. Uh, I believe two days ago or something like that. You know, Bob Arum is broke and he's always trying to, always trying to find a way to undermine opponents or try to think he's uh, he's the A side. This guy has so many lawsuits. You know, so you know, I he, yes, I I appreciate what he has done for the sport, but it's time for him to pack up and leave because he's. He's literally just, you know, ruining his own name and ruining the brand and just messing up for what, what he has built. Uh, Devin Warren has every right to feel the way he feels. Um, I really don't have much to say about this other than, you know, Bob Aaron, it's time for him to leave because he's just going to continue doing what he does and that's just make a mockery of himself and try to undermine uh, a people or try to... Try to make it seem like he's always right, as his recent um, statements against uh, AJ and uh, many of other boxers. But a lot of a lot of the boxers that that fought for Bob Barum, you know, that he's upset that Bob Barum has taken care of, they eventually leave because you know he the, the guy's senile after a bit. They can't handle him. 
they think he's a no, he's a very he's very uh, 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 he's annoying and he just does some things that are uh, that are dro- dropping, you know. So I don't I I don't whatever Dylan White says, any any anything that anybody says above I bear him, you know. I would probably have to ninety nine eighty ninety nine five percent of the time I'm probably gonna agree and say yes, you know. And that's where I'm gonna leave it. You know, um, I mean. He, let me just read the statement, the statement of Bob Aaron before uh, Olajide comes in. Uh, Bob Aaron said uh, he has very little respect for White um, based on his recent uh, actions. He said, good luck to them. I quote, good luck to them. Uh, I just hope that uh, they are not endangering the safety of anyone. But this kind of cowboy behavior doesn't do anybody any good. Uh, looking now with Nevada, which we do in, in a sensible way. Um, or California, we are working with Nevada Athletic Commission Executive Director or Bennett and um, the Texas Commission. We are only going to do this if it's safe for the fathers and everyone involved. And if it's approved by the medical authorities, we are not going to be cowboys like Dana White. I don't want, I, I don't want to get politics involved, but I have really very little respect for Dana and what he's doing. You know, I he, mean, that's provocative in a way, though. Like he, he's a known hater. You could tell by the tone and what he's saying. He doesn't want anybody else to do it. He wants to be the one to do it. Because you could, you could tell it's all money hungry. Bob Arum history has has always been issues with money. You know, he's he's coll- he's collided with so many uh, 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 the IRS. You know, audits. Uh, you know, his history with money is not good. You know, you can tell this guy is money hungry. He doesn't want pe- he's always impeding people from from doing what they want to do. But when it comes to him, he wants to he he wants nobody to stand in his way. You know, but people everybody's bored, so people are gonna people want something. You know, Dana White is smart for what he's doing. He knows that it, it's all business, right? So he knows he's of course he's gonna want to take care of his fighters. He knows that uh, that nothing's going on. And what if he hosts an event? Everybody's gonna tune in. That's that's smart business, man. Even with Dylan White and and Eddie Earn, they they know it. If if they if they host an event, they're gonna they uh, everybody's gonna tune in regardless. And Bob Arum seems he just doesn't he doesn't like the idea and the fact that they want to do it. But I bet you when it's if he want when it's his turn, he's gonna want to do it. No questions asked. Amen. Uh, Olajide, your take on this? You know, um, concerning this, uh, I do not blame Dillian for striking back, number one. For calling him a dickhead as well, number two, I don't blame him for anything because and I understand why Dillian is saying, okay, maybe because you're broke and you don't know how you can do it. I think the problem started from him getting to realize Dillian White's going to be having a fight close door. And I know other promoters can look at it like, okay, how do you want to make the revenue to get a fight? You know, and these are the things that I think gets to Bob, Frank, and everything because the way they end up kind of like putting out strings. And those are the things that when you have a young, fresh blood there, he knows how to post streams in this. You are older now, and there are so many things you can't keep doing things the way you've been doing it. Like Ty says now, Bob wants to be the one to pull the strings and stuff like that. But the fact that Elliot is pulling that strings and he's looking at it now like it's like match sure fighters are kind of like kept, you know, um, busy even in this time and stuff like that. It's not something I don't think um, Bob is liking because he would have preferred it to be him because. I think it was, I believe one thing sometimes last week or so, Bob ended up talking about having a fight close to and stuff like that because he had it coming out from Eddie and Bob. I think he's looking at like he's looking so close to, you know, Dillian for making happen in close doors and this is something he would like to you know, pull up. And I won't blame Dillian White for, you know, saying that because at the end of the day, you can't come out, you can't come out, you know, attacking, you know, boxers when you know you've got your own boxers as well and stuff like that, but 
like I always say, you can't keep striking at people. At some point, they will strike back at you. The only person I feel like, but I don't. I just feel AJ. AJ is the only person I feel like the day AJ is gonna strike back at Bob, this is gonna look like a joke that day, because it's chat a lot of shit about AJ as well. But AJ is yet to respond to any of the things he's saying and that and that. But Dylan is just one person like you don't chat so much about him, man. He will talk instantly. Yeah. You know, those are the things there. So I really do not blame Dillian for, you know, responding back. But I think he's just a finger of... He's just a finger of Bob just needs to learn to understand, you know. You're not the only one then. Um, the kind of IQ you've got, you've got a younger one and that's got a better way of looking into doing things in a much more better way. So until he learns to understand that, Bob is still always going to be like this. But nothing's going to change that. Yeah, brother. Um, thanks a lot for your word structure statement. Stay blessed, guys. Stay hungry. Stay humble. And yeah, have a great day.